Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ro. I've been in recovery from anorexia for a few months now and I have really, really pushed myself and I've done so much, more than I thought I could. But at the same time, when I first went all in and I first really chose to go for recovery, I think part of me did expect to be able to manage things a bit better than I am at the moment. And that's not to say that I'm not doing well. I am pushing myself every day, eating everything every day, gaining weight, getting freer mentally but one of the big reasons i wanted to recover was to be able to join in on people's birthdays and do what they wanted to do and give them the birthday that they deserve because for quite a while people's birthdays have sort of been limited by my anorexia and it's kind of been like yeah you can have a birthday meal but i've got to know the calories <laughs> yeah you can have a birthday meal but i'll have my own little thing for my family that's not natural we always have done things as a family and gone out for meals together and i want to get back to that one of the things i said when i went into recovery was like anyone in my family is going to be able to pick whatever place they want to eat from for their birthday or make whatever meal they want to have and i'm going to eat cake basically just join in like it's a normal birthday and it was my dad's birthday earlier this month and i did manage the cake but i didn't manage the meal because i chose something a bit easier because i just didn't feel up to it but what i'm realizing is that i'm literally never going to feel up to it it's just not going to happen and today's my brother's birthday we've like made a cake <laughs> iced it, had coffee together, but what he wanted to do for his birthday meal was get a burger takeaway and have a cake. I haven't had anything from a takeaway in literal years. And I know I say that about a lot of stuff, but this is the takeaway, like this is quite a big deal. Unfortunately, I think because of COVID, the takeaway menu of this place is quite limited, so there's not actually anything I can have, but I am gonna get fries. I'm gonna get takeaway fries. This is, like this is gonna be quite intense. Fries are a really big fear food and so is cake. But I want this day to be about my brother and about celebrating 21 years of his life. And I don't want it to be about anorexia. But not just that, I know I will look back on this and kick myself for not joining in. So I'm gonna join in, I'm gonna order fries and I'm gonna put together my own very scary dinner and eat cake. It's time to go eat birthday cake and I actually feel quite strong right now. Like I feel like, yeah, I can do this. Like I need to do it. This is me getting back to a normal life. Oh, what do I just take these off? <laughs> How big does everyone else want this? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, it looks good. Mm, it's really yeah. soft oh, in the middle. Uh, how big do you? Oh, let you cut yours. Cause... Yeah. Right. Mm. I feel strong. I feel good. I can do Lovely. this. Mm. We made this. Come on, right. Just enjoy it. It's birthday cake. It's what you do on your birthday. It's what birthday is all about. A bit of cake. It tastes nicer than it did on my birthday, which means I'm less anxious. Or that it's just a better cake. Piece of cake. Here's to many more birthdays. With yeah. Much absolutely. more birthday cake. Well, it's great. We're not shaking as much as you were first time you had cake. <laughs> Do you remember Flaking that? Eddie <laughs> Boss yeah. happy birthday. Well done. Yeah, anorexia, cake is great. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Um, we're gonna take B on a walk and then I will see you when we're ordering or maybe when we're getting the takeaway. I've got green cuisine meat-free burgers. I'm having fries from the place. I've got brioche burger buns. This is gonna push me in so many ways. And like obviously having a burger with a burger bun and fries, this is gonna be very challenging. But it's Rory's day, it's Rory's 21st. We're celebrating Rory. We're not focusing on weight or numbers. I don't know the calories in the fries. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I feel, I do feel quite like, you know what, this is it, like I'm actually doing it. Okay, so I'm ordering the food. Something I didn't think I'd be saying. I'm getting seasoned fries. Three, add to basket. Yep, check out. Check it out. I've ordered the food. It says collect at six o'clock. 31 minutes, I'll be eating fries. So we're on our way to get the fries and for 
everyone else get their burgers. To say I'm freaking out is an understatement, but I also know I've done so many hard things that I can do this. This is what recovery is all about, doing the really scary stuff. But a little bit of me is excited actually, because I haven't had fries in so many years, or like a brioche bun or a proper burger, and I don't know. Unknown calorie, unknown everything. That's normal. Yeah. That's what normal people do. And I'm going to be a normal person. I need to breathe. This is what I wanted to do in recovery. This is what I wanted to be able to do. And I'm doing it. So. Um, have oh. you got them? Yeah. Oh my God. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. That smells insane. What the hell? Dad, that literally smells incredible. And I can see <laughs> the fries. Oh my God. Got the freaking takeaway! I'm just assembling my burger. Oh my god. Thank you very much, guys. Happy birthday. It's enjoy. Go on, just try one. <laughs> you don't need to shake. Okay, right. First takeaway fry. I just think, right, this is like the, a step on the journey to freedom mm. yeah eating out with friends you know going for burgers and this is this is getting my life back mm. but you can't believe it just doing normal that. stuff wow that is incredible so i put ketchup on them have a foil wrapper <laughs> get on down squeeze thank you i'm doing this i'm really doing this how have i gone this long without fries do not know. Have you got gherkins in your burger? No, I meant to put gherkins in it. Yeah. If you know me, you know I love a gherkin. Right. You go, go. <coughs> Tuck in. Oh my God. Uh, this will be fun. Find a seat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> What is the burger like? That is insane. That is so nice. Just try and think about what this will enable you to do in the future. Mm. You won't be saying, oh no, I can't do that. When somebody says they're going to town, they're going to get some food and they don't say where they're going. Just go, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I'm recovering, I'm doing this. Absolutely. Yeah, and keep going, girl. anorexia no more when you're not shaking and quivering you know when the menu isn't a freak out for you you're doing good honey keep it going thank you last bit of the burger you stop, you know. Just have what I. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you're dealing with the head guilt mm. any better? Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of at a point where I'm like, I'm going to gain weight, I'm going to get healthy. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I might as well actually get mentally free, otherwise it will just be a waste. Well, I know. Well, so in your case, gaining weight is. Gaining life. I really am winning. Like I kind of, I'm like, wow, I'm doing this. Like, you do seem a lot stronger. I feel like I'm getting there, you know. You, you seem stronger more of the time, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you fight back more. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I'm really mentally fighting back mm -hmm. more than anyone sees. Like, <coughs> right. I'll put a few on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. And and that's it. Okay. I'm just oh. letting out, and that's it. No, actually. No, not mum. No, look. Okay. That's it. Okay, I'm done now. 
I really think you could manage those last few little crispy ones. I'm just looking at what's left, Ray. Just stop yeah. down and you've had a, you've had a decent amount. I am hungry, I'm just freaking yeah. out because it's fries, but. I know, but you will, later on you'll be going, I'm really hungry. I just ate a burger and fries. Okay. I just ate a burger and fries. Well done, honey. Oh my God. I did that and that was amazing. And my head is going crazy, like it's, it's really mad at me. I've let that control my life for way too long. It's time to get your life back on. What you deserve. That's what I'm doing. Mm. I thought I'd just talk about like rationalising guilt. Because obviously I've just eaten a burger and a load of fries. Um, having anorexia, obviously my head is going a little loopy. And the sort of stuff it's throwing at me, to give you some examples, is like, you're going to gain so much weight. You're out of control. You ate too much. You're greedy. Everyone thinks you're fat and greedy. I do deal with these thoughts literally constantly, but I think a lot of people kind of don't know how the hell you get over it and it holds you back and it makes you not want to do the hard things because you're like, how do I deal with that afterwards? And I felt like that before, but what I'm doing right now is coming back at all the thoughts with an opposite thought or trying to have a neutral opinion towards that thought. So if my brain's going, oh my God, you're going to gain so much weight. Okay, I might gain weight. But your weight is within a range and your weight is always going to go up and down. For me right now, it needs to keep going up. I know that. But for everyone, some weeks they will gain weight and some weeks they'll lose weight and some weeks they'll maintain weight. You shouldn't restrict your life because you're scared to see a number on a scale change. You shouldn't, you shouldn't not join in with your family and do the things that you enjoy doing because you might stand on a slab of metal on the floor and see something that you're not entirely happy with. You cannot let a number define your entire life. And yeah, right now I am kind of saying all of this to make myself believe it, but these are the ways that I do rationalise guilt. And You're saying it knowing it's true. As well. I know it's true, it's just I know it's true for other people and I have to apply it to myself too. Yeah. But it is true, you know. I think most people who have a good relationship with food maintain their weight within a range and if you're eating to your hunger and you gain weight chances are it's because your body wasn't at its happy weight in the first place and it needed to get there to be able to eat freely if you're having to track your calories and limit everything to maintain your weight then you're not at the weight that you should be at but also there's no way that if i was sat at a table with my seven-year-old self and she was having a meal and she finished all her fries there's no way I would sit there and say, you're greedy, you're gonna get fat. You just, I just wouldn't say it. Another way I rationalize is to kind of go, well, would I say it to my friend? Would I say it to my mum? Would I say it to my younger self? And if the answer's no, then I shouldn't be saying it to myself. You know the saying, treat everyone the way you, you'd want to be treated. Treat yourself the way you treat everyone. What have you done to deserve to be so horrible to yourself? Chances are nothing. And if even if you have done something bad, People make mistakes and you deserve to forgive yourself and not punish yourself. Food is literally fuel to live. I just did something terrifying to me, but something that's necessary to help me get a free life. What purpose is guilt serving? What's done is done. There's no point trying to limit my weight gain or control my weight because, well, I'm trying to teach myself that I'd much rather be mentally free than in a small body. You are not greedy for eating food. You are not greedy for having a treat. You're not out of control for eating. What's out of control is convincing yourself that you're in control when you're restricting. You did brilliantly. Thank you. You deserve to be proud of yourself and we are all incredibly proud of you. Thank you. And we love that we're gonna have you back with us properly. I'm getting there. I feel a bit more like myself. Every day you seem more like yourself. Mm. Yesterday when I woke you up, you just looked the most peaceful and tranquil that I've seen you in a long time. Oh, it was lovely. Mm. I'm gonna get to my proper healthy weight. I'm gonna get there. Being underweight has never made me happy. I don't think being underweight has ever made anyone happy truly. There is so much more to me as a person than what my body looks like and what my weight is. Anorexia can do one. That is an awful Irish accent. I ate fries, I ate a burger, I did that. I'm still alive to tell the tale and I'm still gonna carry on recovering and not give up. Hello. So I last filmed like two days ago. I've had a really positive morning and I feel really strong. And I feel like this is kind of like a second coming of me going all in. Like 
this is it now i really am just just going for it so on my birthday which was in january my best friend ella made me lots of envelopes um which say like open when she's just like the loveliest person but this one says open when you're ready for a big challenge and oh it says open before the 14th of the 5th so i don't know what this is before the 14th of the 5th so. it feels kind of lumpy so you're ready for it whatever it is whatever it is i've got to do it <laughs> what is it <laughs> oh oh my god oh fantastic oh my god she does know you well then this is my childhood favorite chocolate bar a crunchy a freaking crunchy what's your heart doing at the moment pounding <laughs> i have not had a chocolate bar let alone a full-size bloom and crunchy since before i got like ill like oh my god oh my god come on open it up this is like such a big fair food oh my god milk chocolate with honeycomb center i can do this i'm not letting anorexia win anymore Can't wait to see you bite into it. I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified. Anorexia has had its day. It says a crunchy isn't scarier than living a life controlled by anorexia. Little Ro would be so happy right now. <laughs> Come on then. Does it remind you of just lovely stuff? I know you want to cry. I want to cry. But that's just the first bite in the rest of your chocolate bar life. <laughs> it tastes like when I was happy when I was younger. So this is the start of things being good? Yeah. They already have been, just with all the challenges that you've overcome. But this is one that you've been putting off. So. <gasps> You're doing it! Good on you. I genuinely can't believe I'm doing this. But you are. I'm all in and I can do anything. It's amazing. It's so I can't believe I, I actually let myself miss out on chocolate for so long. It's just really sad, isn't it? It's not just calories, it's actually freedom. And you deserve it. And this envelope's been sat there burning a hole in the side. <laughs> burning a hole in my brain. And I've been thinking, what the hell is in it? And I didn't think I'd be eating a chocolate bar today. There's no such thing as going too fast in recovery. This isn't too soon. The quicker I get my life back, the better. I feel out of control, but I also know that I'm the most in control I've ever been. My first chocolate bar in recovery. Full size crunchy. Smashed. Smashed. Crunched. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I just ate a crunchy. Oh my god. I'm not letting anorexia make me feel awful about it. I refuse. It's not that easy. You can't just refuse, but I'm quite proud of myself. As you should be. Off camera, please. <laughs> This will be the end of the video now. Um, bit of an impromptu added ending bit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.